This episode is brought to you by ThePuzzler.com. In this video, we take a look at the two-child problem. Here's the two-child problem. Mr. Smith has two children. At least one of them is a boy. What is the probability that both children are boys? Pause the video for more time. First, a brief history of this paradox. Dating back to 1959, this paradox was invented by Martin Gardner and is also known as the boy and girl paradox. The correct answer is surprisingly not one half. The correct answer was in fact one third. Are you completely boggled? Let's explore this paradox. Mr. Smith and Mrs. Smith can have four possible pairs of children, where age does matter. These four possible pairs are an older boy and a younger girl, two boys, an older girl and a younger boy, or two girls. But notice that two girls are not possible because Mr. Smith has at least one boy. Thus, we can cross that out. Out of our four possible scenarios, we already know one is not possible. So the other three underlying scenarios are possible. Mr. Smith's children could have been any of the underlined ones. Notice that out of the three possible pairs of children, only one pair has two boys. This gives us a probability of one third. Are you still not satisfied? Let's look at an example. Let's take a hundred pairs of children. Assume that it's a perfect representative sample. This means there's a one fourth chance of each possible combination. Exactly 75 of the parents will say that they have at least one boy. Out of these 75 parents, only 25 have two boys. This gives us our answer of 25 divided by 75, which is once again, one third. Did that clear up your confusion? We are not done yet though. Let's take a quick look at the counterpart of this paradox. The two child problem, part two. Mr. Jones has two children. The older child is a girl. What is the probability that both children are girls? Pause the video for more time. The correct answer is one half this time around. Let's look at why. Once again, we have four possible combinations. The older child is the one on the left. This time, only two of the combinations work because we need an older girl. Mr. Jones' children could have been any of the underlying combinations. Out of the two valid pairs, only one has two girls. This gives us our answer of one half. You might be wondering, why are the answers different? Let's look at why. The difference. The reason that the answer changes is because in the second problem, we already know which one is the girl, removing any ambiguity. It also removes the extra case where the age of the children is swapped. An afterthought. A tiny change in our two problems made our answers completely different. This goes to show the ambiguity of this paradox 
and this has even been acknowledged by Gardner himself. Did these problems fascinate you? If you answered yes, here is a variation for you to try on your own. Here is the variation. Albert tells you he has two children and that one of his children is a boy and was born on a Tuesday. What are the chances that his other child is also a boy? Write your answers in the comments below. Did you enjoy or learn anything from this video? If so, be sure to like this video so that it can reach others who might enjoy it. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified whenever we make new videos. For more awesome content and quizzes, check out thepuzzler.com.